Hello, I'm Tom Malik, Product Marketing Manager for Specialty Applications at Graco. And here I am today to talk to you about the brand new eMix XT Variable Ratio Electric Proportioning System. As you can see here, we have two independent electric motors. These are not air-driven units like your traditional proportioners, which allows us to become independent from large, bulky, and expensive air compressor systems. What allows us to do that is our new patented XT motor technology. These motors are so powerful, they're 15 times more powerful on low-end torque compared to any other existing electrical motor on the market. This allows us to drive this variable ratio proportioner up to pressures of 5,000 PSI and handle any material that is even 100% solids. Let's start with the fluid path here. As you can see, we have two independent A and B material hoppers. Material comes through from the hopper into this ball valve here. This is for quick shutoff. So in case you have any sort of issues in the field, you can quickly shut this material off, take a simple hammer, or if you have something else, such as a crescent wrench or any other hard object, you can quick take this nut off and loosen this hopper up. Also right here, you can see, this is a quick access, hand tight cleaning port on our elbow. So you can take that off easily clean out this dead spot here if there's any sort of material between material changes and then put this back together as needed. Next, let's talk about our endurance pump lowers on this unit. Now, just as a note, best practice, endurance lowers are part of our endurance advantage program. Should you have any issues with your pump right away at first time of purchase, you can buy an extra lower at 70% off discount and keep that as a spare. Now on this machine, being variable ratio, it's actually the same pump on one side of the machine as the other. So you can buy that one spare and no matter what pump on the unit needs to be swapped out, you can do it right there on the spot. But it even gets better. Say you have the pump that goes down, you can take once again a hammer or any other hard object, quickly hit the star nut loose just like this, and you can remove the hand tight hose right here on the back. After that's out of the way, that pump slides right out. Then you can take your spare pump that you have sitting right there on the shelf, Put that, slide that right into the unit, attach your hand tight hose, just like this, and then take your jam nut, little hammer, hammer it in tight, and you're all set. After it leaves the pump, you can see here, the fluid goes into our dual flow hybrid heater. This is a 4,000 watt heater with 2,000 watts of heating per side. This allows us to take material that comes in from ambient temperature and raise it up to 60 degrees on a single pass through. So if you've got a 70 degree day outside and your material needs to be conditioned to 130 degrees, this heater will be able to do that on demand in a single pass through. Now if you have higher temperatures than that, you can take your material and recirculate it back through into your hopper, which is great for conditioning. Now that is something that is always the best key thing to think about is conditioning your material. Material, it needs to be at a certain temperature in order to pump correctly and to spray and atomize correctly. Here up close is what the dual flow hybrid heater looks like. As you can see here, it has four individual heating elements, two on this side, two on this side. What that allows it is, is the material comes in one side for the A material, and out through the other, and on the B side comes through one side and comes out through the other as shown here. Now say you have an issue where you have a, a, a bad rod or you got something wrong with it, we have complete kits in order to repair your heater right on the spot, complete with all the fittings, O-rings, temperature sensors, and heating elements to repair one side at a time. Since the Emex XT is a variable ratio proportioner, quite often people switch materials that they are spraying. Some materials have hardeners on the A side of the machine. Other materials have hardeners on the B side of the machine. So it is always in a best practice to clean out your machine as best as possible, including the heater. Now the dual flow heater has very easy to access ports. You can take these heating elements right out as you see here. Once the element is out, take your cleaning brush and just insert it into the channel where the heating rod was. So let's talk about the best feature of the Emix XT, which is our brand new touchscreen control interface. You can control everything from the screen with a push of a button. You can change your temperatures as we've shown earlier. I can set my temperatures independently. I can turn on my heat zones independently from each other. Additionally, I can set spray pressure with the touch of a button. Say if I wanted to spray at 2500 PSI. It's as simple as that once I turn the pumps on. Over here, you can see we have our ratio control. Now this says 1.00. This machine is capable of going up to ratios of six to one. 
but it can hit every other ratio out to a thousandths point between it. Say I have a material that's 2.25 to 1. This machine can handle that. One extra special thing about the display screen is it is super tough and durable. Some of you might be concerned about getting overspray over the screen. Well, no worries at all. This screen is made out of a durable Gorilla Glass. You can take a simple razor blade and scrape this machine clean. Now with plural component spraying, one of the most key things is conditioning your material. And that is something that we wanted to make sure to make as easy as possible for every contractor in the field. So say I needed to add material and I needed to recirculate my materials to temp. I can either choose to recirculate just A material, just B material, or both at the same time. And when you're ready to recirculate material, you turn the pumps on and we give simple to operate procedures with how to handle the recirculation manifold and the mix manifold in order to properly use the recirculation mode. Now because this unit is electric, there is no noise that typically you will hear other than the small quiet noise that the motors make. Because of this, one of the key accessories we have is this light tower you see here. This light tower will give you status lights telling you when your machine is operating, when your ratio guard system is engaged, when you may have an error, or when you're in recirculation mode. This is done through three colors. Solid green, this means your unit is on and spraying with ratio guard enabled. Flashing green, your unit is on and spraying, but you have ratio guard disabled. In best practices, we always recommend having ratio guard enabled on your Emix XT proportioner. Yellow is for recirculation mode, when you are heating your material and sending it back to the hoppers. And red is when you have an error on your display screen, showing you exactly what has gone wrong with your sprayer with a quick to easy to access QR code that tells you exactly how to fix it. One of the other feature benefits of the light tower is that it's easy to move with its magnetic base. It allows you to place this anywhere on the job site that's magnetic to have it for better view of your status codes while in operation. Also with our touchscreen display module, it has the ability to record and capture all of your spray parameters and spray job data to prove that you are on ratio. It is easy to be able to use this and take a USB drive and simply download the data from your spray job. Now as a best practice, we recommend that you take a ratio check at the beginning of every day or any time that you switch materials. Additionally, the ratio check kit is a wetted component of the system. So should you flush your system out, you should flush through your ratio check kit all the way through the ratio dispense hoses. Now at the end of any spray day or at any time that you have to take a break where there's mixed material in the machine, it is recommended to flush out your machine with solvent. Because of that, we have our fast clean solvent pump built directly into the Emix XT. It's very simple to use, and now let me show you how to do it. So here I have my container of solvent. I have my siphon set for my sprayer. We recommend to have this ready to go at all times, just in case at any time you need to flush the system out during your spray job. Once it's primed, simply engage your pressure knob to begin the material flow of solvent to your mix manifold. And then simply walk to your mix manifold and open your flush pump to begin flushing solvent through your mix material line. Since conditioning material is very, very crucial when spraying two component materials, we have the dual flow zeter that we talked about earlier. But we also have our electric heated hose accessory kit that can be bolted onto this machine. Great for cold weather climates or in any situation where you need a little bit extra temperature raise out of your material. This hose set bolts right onto the front of the machine and allows you to raise the temperature by an additional 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So there you have it, the Emix XT, now available in two trim levels. Our standard model, which comes with 35 foot of spray hose, or our pro model, which comes with hose to be able to spray up to 135 feet away from your machine at any mix ratio. Additionally, the built-in hose rack and the removable light tower for your convenience.